Most smart home automations feel more like basic tricks than real intelligence. You turn on a light, you set a schedule, and that's pretty much it. But what if your home actually understood you? What if automations worked together, anticipating your needs, adapting in real time, and making your home feel as advanced as, let's say, Iron Man's Jarvis? If that resonates with you, can I offer you something that I think you'd like? Like, no cap, like, I really think you're gonna like this. The Jarvis Blueprint. For the past two years, I've been refining how AI powers my smart home, and I even built a free plugin to make it easier, and a lot of you loved it. And with over a decade of software engineering experience, I've pushed smart home automations beyond what most people think is possible. I've been exploring the deep trenches of it and doing things that you typically don't see in the other smart home niches. And I've taken all of that knowledge, all of these concepts, and placed it inside this course, and it's gonna change the way that you see home automation completely. But let me not just talk about it, let me be about it. For those of you unfamiliar with Jarvis, it's a fictional character from a comic book called Iron Man. Now, Jarvis is a computer system created by the protagonist to control his home, his inventions, and assist the main character in all things virtual. What? As a kid when I saw this, I really wanted it for real life. And apparently, I wasn't alone. Now, this dream is collectively shared by the smart home community as Jarvis represents the pinnacle of what a smart home should be. Smart, responsible, proactive, contextually aware, helpful, local, and above all, safe. But this is a fictional AI system. Could this imaginary thing actually become reality? And if it could, would it actually meet expectations or, or, or would it give us like a reality check and change the way that we think it must work? Now, I bring up all of this because I've made several attempts to create a Jarvis-like system and it led me to create K, my AI smart home assistant that knows everything about my smart home. Now, each iteration brought me closer and closer to what I believe Jarvis should be, but what exactly is Jarvis? Sure, it's an abstract fictional character, but if you had to physically build it, like what would it do? How would it behave? Now, this is important because this seemingly tiny detail changes how each of us build our smart home assistant. For example, the fictional Jarvis controls mechanized weapons, the lights, locks, networks, and satellites of Tony Stark's home. My Jarvis only controls lights and switches and locks. Our systems won't be like the movies, so what do we mean when we want to recreate Jarvis for ourselves? Perhaps it's its personality. Iron Man's Jarvis has a British accent with a dry sense of humor and a slightly snarky attitude. And may I say how refreshing it is to finally see you in a video with your clothing on, sir. <laughs> in Home Assistant, we can create a bunch of static responses that match the personality and humor that's similar to what, let's say, Slacker Labs have cleverly done, but it, it doesn't feel organic enough. After all, I don't have this character's personality type, so my static responses won't really feel the same. And, and then technically, what about those who have, let's say, disabilities, who can't really hear and need a different way of communicating? Having it talk would probably be irrelevant. So after four iterations of creating my smart home assistant and talking with a bunch of you, this is my definition of a real life Jarvis a collection of well-timed automations capable of enhancing the quality of life by reducing cognitive load. Okay, so I know that's kind of big brain, so I asked GPT to simplify my definition. Smart home automations that make life easier by taking the thinking out of everyday tasks. That was actually pretty good. Now, I get it. Some of you may fight me on this definition. And if that's the case, meet me outside and we can scrap about it. Why this definition? Now, as we dive deeper into this series, you're going to understand more about what I mean, but here's a high-level perspective. Jarvis, at its core, represents a home that helps. Iron Man has a huge mansion that contains a damn mini factory. This man was pumping out sophisticated mech suits that could fight out literally space wizards and demons. You think he's doing that alone? Nah, mm -mm, nah, he ain't doing that alone. And, and, and don't forget that the man is a billionaire with a billion dollar enterprise and contracts with world governments, of course he's gonna need a Jarvis and perhaps a Pepper Potts. 
Have you been drinking? Now, imagine if Tony is in his bedroom, getting ready for bed, and was like, ah, oh, man, I wonder if I turned off the lights in my basement factory. And then he had to walk all the way down the stairs like a pleb to find out that the lights were turned off, but he actually left his superhero ceiling open. Now, though I poke fun at all of this, I think you get the picture. Tony needs Jarvis to reduce his mental burden. And similarly, our Jarvis must do the same. And in the same way your needs are different from Iron Man's needs and your needs are different from mine and your neighbors and the other tech enthusiasts looking to create their own drivers, we have to make this personal to us. For myself, I have a full-time job and a family and other obligations. I often wish that I had a secretary that could manage my schedule. This is something meaningful that a Jarvis-like system could help me with. One viewer I spoke with has a child with, that requires constant medical care and a system that could help make sure that the equipment is well-maintained or that medication is dispensed appropriately would be important for him. The point is this, Jarvis is not just for a home. It's not just for those who can hear, and it's not just for those with big houses. It's for those who wish to do more with less. And here's the craziest part. If all of what I said is true, then you technically already have Jarvis. Hey now, l let me say that again. If all what I said was true, then you technically already have Jarvis. Simply having automated lights and locks means you have a Jarvis, even if it doesn't speak back to you. Oh, that, that, that probably hits you different. Tap your neighbor on the shoulder and say, hey, I got a Jarvis. If you have a smart home and felt a bit of dissonance when I said that, or had the thought, my house is not like the Jarvis that I envisioned, then I have some really sobering news for you. Perhaps your smart home automations are not as meaningful as you think. Perhaps you're trying to fit your home into a cookie cutter representation of what you think a smart home should be instead of what you actually need. But, but don't worry, right? I'm not trying to, you know, rain on your parade or anything like that. Whether you feel like your smart home is awesome or lacking, you're gonna love what I'm about to show you. You probably heard of the automation gold standard mantra, but I would like to propose a change to it. A perfect automation should be invisible, never noticed, never seen, only felt. While Home Assistant gives you the power to control lights, locks, and cameras, Node Red lets you build an experience beyond Home Assistant, beyond big tech, beyond limitations. Your only limit will be your imagination, not platforms, brands, equipments, or integrations. Uh, can you create a document to track my workouts? You can call the document Gym Prep and also create a workout routine that targets my back and buys and put it onto a table. You see? Okay, Nabu. Play lo-fi hip-hop on the office speakers. Play lo-fi hip-hop on the office speakers. Learn the techniques, and every ceiling becomes glass. No more waiting, only doing. Now I have some bad news, good news, and even better news. Starting with the bad news, the Jarvis Blueprint is still under development. The good news is, if you're already enrolled in the Node Red Made Simple course, you're gonna get access to this automatically when it's ready. The even better news is, for those of you not yet enrolled, I'm offering the Automation Trilogy. This is a complete system for building next level automations. The Jarvis Blueprint is the final piece to that puzzle. And since it's still in development, you can lock in all three right now at a pre-sale discount. Now, your support throughout this entire process for me has been incredible and I'm aiming for a strong finish with this one. Check the link in the description and see what you're getting into, bro. Hope to see you in the community.